Hi friends, welcome to Subha's Creations. I'm Shubha. Today I would like to show you how to bring in different fonts, symbols and emojis to Google Classroom to decorate your Google Classroom and to make it more inviting and interesting for your students. I already made a separate video to show you how to make a Bitmoji dance like this and how to bring in this Bitmoji into your Google Classroom. I will give you the link of that video and the other Google Classroom related tutorials in the description box below so you can make use of it. But in this video, I'm just going to focus on font symbols and emojis. Google Classroom by itself do not have that option. So we need to rely on some external sources. So there are two different websites which will give you, which will satisfy these needs. One is coolfontgenerator.net and coolfont.org. I'll give you the link of these, these websites in the description box so you can find it easily. All you have to do is just click and go to one of these websites and type whatever you want to type. So I'm just going to say, hi, students. And if you scroll down, you can see that you have the same word in different font options. And if you want to add more symbols and emojis to make it more decorative, just keep scrolling down and just choose. There are so many options you can choose from one of this. So I'm just going to click emoji and say if I have to choose an emoji. Okay, this one. I just have to click that it will be automatically added to my top slide now i can go scroll down and choose the font style i want to use in my google classroom so i'm just going to choose this one all i have to do is click this go copy this slide now this will create the font for you just go here and click copy and bring it here to your Google Classroom page. Right click and paste. That's it. You can just post it here. So you can do the same thing in the classwork page as well. You can create different, you can use different fonts for different topics or you can just use it for every. So right click and paste and you can just assign it to your students. So this way you can explore more options and make your Google Classroom more interesting. Thank you for watching the video and spending your time with me. Please click the like button if you like the video and share your thoughts in the comment box. And also to support my channel, please subscribe to it and share it with your friends.